Previously on Hack. Mike, all these years, I get you back. And what good did it do me? My trial's in a dumper. I'm probably going to jail. Shansky's history. Came in and put his own head in the news. Practically begged me to kick the chair out from under him. You get nothing from me. Are you going to prison? I don't know. The trial's over. You're done. Misdemeanor. No jail time. It's interesting how things work out. You're still a cop. And I'm driving a cab. We all have our paths. None of this stuff bothers you, does it? Well, it bothers me. So he tells me I should try this club on Porter Street. <laughs> Nothing. Get more action in libraries. I've been coming to this town for 12 years. How many times can you see the Liberty Bell? Shakes out. It's your buddies we're after. What's your name? Paul? Let me out of here. Don't make trouble for yourself, Paul. I can't help you if you don't drop the knife. is never the answer. How's your day? Lousy week. Sitting here? No, it's yours. I was leaving. Heard uh, Greer's asked to go to a new parish. Yeah, he already left. No Orleans. Well, he'll, he'll eat good down there. <laughs> you must miss him. Best friend since high school. You buy have this half of the old house? No. Thought you might. Well, too many ghosts. I'm starting fresh. Buy your coffee. I told you. Marcellus, I'm starting fresh. So you might? I don't want you to think I do this kind of thing all the time. No. 
I don't. So, it was okay for you? It was actually pretty amazing. <laughs> Can I ask you? Uh, maybe it's just a cliche. But people who don't have sight, well, they compensate in other ways. <laughs> I'm embarrassing you. No, no, no. I've been blind my whole life, so... I don't know how it is for anyone else, but... When I heard your voice... I know what I felt. <laughs> what was that? Loneliness. I felt your loneliness. Well, thanks for ordering the subscriptions. Now about six weeks. Uh, check with me Tuesday. I'm seriously considering the New Yorker. What? Hi, my name's Jamie Farrell, and I'd like to save you some money. 25% off the newsstand prices with a dollar from I have to go. Safe. I don't mean to get personal, but I'm sensing a tremendous amount of stress in your voice. I have a situation here. The lady said she can't talk. <laughs> we negotiated a price. And that's the price I'm going to pay. Prices go up, Milo. You know, this really doesn't concern me, so I'm just going to help myself. Sit down. You bone me on the money, then you send some amateur muscle after me? Yep. You know, you're bringing down not just yourself, Milo, but your family. And your bean counter, too. Sorry. You fought the law, and the law won. What do we just do? Hey, keep it together. Wait a minute. Where's the blind guy? Baby. You're very observant. We got this young mother I'm working with who just started a new job and she doesn't have childcare. What can I say? She was screwed up with half an excuse. So I'm pinch hitting. I don't suppose by any chance you're good at feeding babies. Um, you know what? I got a lot of them back. Oh. oh, all right. Who's Garza? Michael Shansky. Michael Shansky drives a cab. Yeah. Probation officer. And babysitter. Well, I deal with a lot of scum buckets, but I find there's a little good in everyone, so I try to help out when I can. And I used to be a cop. Found there was very little good in anyone. Oh, you're that old Shansky. I followed your case in the paper. I was cleared. Yeah. Kinda. 
Oh, God, gotta go. German eats his lunch, then I gotta get him back to mom, and then I gotta go salsa dance before my shift's at the hotline. Wow. Life is short. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Thank you. Great. Okay. Um, three, four, six, two, Cumberland. I'm new in town, just trying to figure my way around here. It must be kind of tough. I've adapted. You put me in a place once, I memorize where the obstacles are and the exact number of steps from one point to the next. Well, be careful, especially where you're headed. That's what I could afford. Peace Corps is not exactly a high-paying organization. Uh -huh. The Peace Corps. I'm in town for my training. I wasn't aware the Peace Corps. Did you sightless people? Yeah. Yeah, actually, disease-related blindness is epidemic in a lot of the world, so I'll be helping new victims cope. Wow. I know what you're thinking. What? Blind leading the blind, right? <laughs> Acclimated here. I was just wondering if you'd run me up to the room. It would help me out a lot. It's okay. All clear. Okay. Let me write down my cell number. I'll be writing that in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say you got a good memory? 555-0167. Five, 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 oh, 0167, oh, got it. OK. My name's Michael Shansky. Jamie Farrell. You run into trouble, you give me a call. Right Thank you. Ain't the almighty federal government stinking up the joint. Kozlo, didn't the DEA teach you not to smoke in the workplace? Let's talk. You think I wanted to make this call? And yet you do. Look, I fell into a real mess. It wasn't my fault. It never is. No, this is really bad. Jamie, I can't do this anymore. Dad, I need your help. You're not asking for help, you're asking for money. Yes, sir. You know, these past years haven't been easy for your mother and me either managed to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. Dad. I can't live your life for you. That only keeps you from growing up. The fact that misfortune has touched you doesn't change that. It's touched all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's time you took yourself and your future seriously. I'm sorry. Uh, 
dan Mike? Ya. Yeah. Got any spare change? Isn't a cup of sugar a traditional icebreaker? I'm collecting for the West Side Battered Women's Shelter and Sugar won't pay their gas bill. Divorced, huh? Yeah. Yep, me too. In a matter of speaking, I was a nun. Bride of Christ. Seriously? Devotedly. Five years until I realized that I could love God and myself and maybe someone else, too. You ever hear of Peace Corps people getting trained in Philadelphia? No, because they don't. Considering joining? No, I know this kid who is. And? He's running from something. And hiding something. Think you can help him? I didn't say that. You don't say a lot. See, that wasn't so hard. What was it? Having a conversation. We'll do it again. Got any extra money? Um. <clears throat> Bless you, my son. Neighbor. It's a nice place. Bought a housewarming gift. I get it going. Well, seems like you always do. Come on, Mike, we haven't talked for a month. We were partners for 12 years and friends. Can't just trash all that. We did trash all that. We were dirty cops. The life you live, I don't want to be a part of. And if I were to say it's too late? You're already a part of my life. I'm a part of yours. What we did. You were part of my old life. I'm starting a new one. You can't be here. So says Philadelphia's finest. You gotta start smoking those things inside. Jeez.
Thanks for giving me your phone number. These these Peace Corps guys, they said they, they pay for my hotel and then the check never arrives and the manager gets all hard-nosed about it and just locks me out. So you had to hide out of garbage? The guy was like threatening me, all right, physically. I could use a place to stay if I could just crash on your sofa until Let I... Let me just stop you. Peace Corps volunteers don't get their training in Philadelphia. Okay, but... Hey, look, I used to be a cop. And I know when someone's in trouble. I can't help you if you don't level with me. Right. Anything would be good. Nothing fancy, just the truth. I'm the only witness to a murder. Except that. You can't see. I heard. Four people get shot to death, some business deal gone bad, and now these killers are after me. Wouldn't it make sense to go to the cops? <laughs> That's the thing. I think it's the cops who are after me. Listen, I really appreciate this. Yeah, tell me how you got mixed up in this thing. I sell magazines to And will this version even come within spitting distance of the truth? At this one house, this lady, she was acting really nervous, and it turns out that this guy's got a gun on her. Next thing I know, the guy shoves a gun in my stomach, and I'm sitting in a room with a bunch of other people. Mm, and you said this was a business deal that went bad? These two guys, and they wanted this payment or something, and this payment was going up. Why do you think they were cops? because they called themselves the law. They were in the room and they were talking to this guy named Milo. 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 You said there were several others. Sounded like? Yeah. Four people were gunned down a couple days ago. In a home belonging to local businessman Milo Binder and his family, the killer or killers then fled. Police sources say that there are no leads at this time and there were no witnesses. There was one. Green, Center. Two seconds. We need a hand with something. Keep your ear to the ground for this kid, all right? Mention it to your dirtbags on the street, too. What did he do? Don't know. Don't want to know. We owe a favor to a couple of feds now they owe us. Idiots. Lost them once already. I'll do what I can. And now we owe you. You do. So what about it, Peter? You find anything on that name I gave you? Ooh, Milo. Binder. He owned a couple small furniture stores. <laughs> What's your sign This cat was a distributor, man. Keeping crackheads in a party mood. Uh -huh. I figured. A lot of street dealers were going to him. He came out of nowhere. They're fairly big, fairly fast. Which could attract attention from the DEA. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Keep it yourself, man. Staying stupid's keeping my health. I'm not mad at you, Michael. But you got nothing to do with you and me. But it's three weekends, I'll be gone. You were gonna take me to a Phillies game. Yeah, well, I hear Hawaii's beautiful. Ryan's gonna teach me how to snorkel. Oh, well, won't be much for your mom to do. She hates the water. She bought a bikini. She, bikini? Okay, these boxes are unpacked. Well, there's more where those came from. When you get back, we'll hang out a lot. And no matter how long we're apart or where you are, I love you, okay? Hey. Hey. Ready? Yeah. We're picking up Heather from work and heading out to the airport. Look, um, she knows there's a custody agreement, Ryan, but... Uh... it's okay. Call me sometime from the hotel. It's a condo. Oh. Wow. Condo. Bye, Dad. Bye, Jamie. I'll bring him back in one piece. You do that. A condo. That's too
two grand a week, easy. Let me grab you another box. Hey, uh, shouldn't we have heard something by now about these feds who were after me? When I hear, you'll hear. Yeah, I didn't volunteer to unpack you. I'm sorry, isn't the sofa comfortable? What? Because it sounded like you wanted back on the street. Right. Uh, don't worry about it. Worry about what? He knows you love him. I wish my father had said just once to me the kind of thing he just said to your son. Can't smoke that thing in here. What can I do for you? We're working a fugitive case. Our guy may have eluded us in one of your taxis. Yeah? Southside taxi, hold on. We want the driver's name so we can ask some questions. You got a hack number? Matter of fact. Yeah, I can get him on the phone. Just the name. So let me know. All right. This is between us. Got it. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off starting fresh or something? There's a kid who's in trouble. He may know something about Milo Binder's murder. Lots of kids are in trouble. You don't want to get messed up in this one. Messed up in what? Was there federal agents at Pop Binder? <laughs> huh? Are they looking for this kid? I love it. You stiff me and then show up the minute you need something. Are they asking for help already from some of your guys, the ones they trust? Cut it, all right? What the hell are you expect me to tell you? Who I got to look out for? Oh, is that all? Nothing changes, does it? In bed with these losers, covering their asses. I'm still a cop, a right cab driver. I'm still out there every day, and these losers have to watch my ass. And I'm not about to blow that because you got some story from some kid. What'd they tell you, Marcellus? They didn't come to me directly. Well, what's the deal with a kid? I didn't ask. Who are they? I didn't ask. You know how it works. Stepping out for a little air? Listen, Are Mike. you going for a world record in dumbass moves? You were present when a drug supplier was murdered, probably by the federal agents he was paying off. And now the feds involve Philly PD. So you figured this would be a good time to hit the street. After, of course, ripping off the one person who gives a damn if you end up in the Delaware River. I left you an IOU. Well, good for you. When I take your head off, I'll leave you one, too. I'm going nuts! These guys, they already found me once. So every time I hear a noise, I think that they found me again. I'm sorry. Save it. You're only sorry because you got caught. Now, here's what we're going to do. You give me that money. Now, sit down, shut up, and do what I tell you. And while you're at it, do the dishes. So is anything you told me true? Because I shot my mouth off. And I put myself in the middle of your trouble. Which has now become my trouble. I was there when the murders happened. I saw who did it. And I am, in fact, running for my life. What is that? Your phone? It's on vibrate. Hello? Oh, you decided on the New Yorker. 
Yeah, no, I just can't do it this minute. If I'm not interrupting. Yeah, I gotta go. Yep, okay, bye. So why are you on your own in this? Why isn't your family helping? You do have a family. Father, mother, mad scientist who created Yeah, you. I have a family. They just don't speak to me. Why am I not surprised? What kind of scam did you run on them? I outlived my brother. I'm still listening. My brother and I, we were like this, this team. Team Farrell. Dad was the coach, mom was the cheerleader. We were in every sport, every honors class. We ran for every office. We had to compete and we had to win always. So when Rick got hit by a car two years ago, I thought to myself, I thought, he was the lucky one. Why? Because when one member of the team misses the mark, the next guy, he's got to pick up the slack. He's got to be smarter, faster, gutsier. And I was doing a pretty good job of it until I missed my senior calculus final in Western Civ in my French final. In lunch, in dinner, for two weeks. They found me in my apartment, and I was writing down all my exams on the exact same piece of paper, actually on the exact same line of the same piece of paper. They politely escorted me off to the psych ward where I got to eat mashed bananas out of a plastic spoon for several weeks. Till the meds kicked in. Is this what you want to know about my family? Where was your dad in all this? <laughs> Coach Farrell didn't pick up my option. Any chance we can stop for a Whopper? Not until I get you further out of town I can stash you somewhere. Write your cell phone number down so I can reach you if I have to. Remember, I'm seeing tension here. Is this nothing to?
Swapping for a while. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Hey, the tires may need some air. Out. What are you gonna do? Dump me in the river? Shut up. That the spirit of Philadelphia? I used to take that when I was a kid with my mom. Go past the old power plant. You wanna talk, mama's boy? Let's talk. We'll try it again. Who did you talk to about this? Friend? Anyone? No one. You talked to no one about what you heard? Heard about what? Uh, what does Olshansky know? I don't even know who the hell that is. The cabbie? He ordered like. Two more years of Sports Illustrated when I said throw in a t-shirt. People like you outlive their usefulness. Stand up! Oshansky, isn't it? You should have stayed out of this. All right, grab a kid. Let's get the hell out of here. Who saw this? These guys gotta be handled. They got buddies on the inside. 
Mike, I can't be a part of this. You do what you gotta do. You look like hell. <laughs> That's what protecting me gets you. I owed you. I still do whatever you want. Did you try to stay out of trouble? I ain't try. Probably not. <laughs> But if you need me, I'm around. I see. Hey. Yeah. How'd you find us? I heard they found the kid. Green and Jenner aren't much for keeping a secret. You, uh, you made a choice that could cost you. Yeah, I got bigger things to worry about. All the hours we clocked in the unit, over all the years, whenever I had something going on, you were the one that listened. I like to think that I listened to you. What is it, Marcellus? <laughs> um, I might be sick. I'll say. I went in for my physical. Lesions showed up on the chest X-ray. CAT scan confirmed it. So, yeah. It may be cancer. I'm going for a biopsy next week. You told Deborah? <laughs> Come on, Mike. You know what it's like when you're married? You divide stuff up. Deborah keeps the bank account straight and goes to the school functions. I bring home the money. Try to keep the bad stuff out of the house. Yeah, well, good luck. Wives always know. <laughs> My wife don't want to know. She doesn't. I brought so much garbage into our lives lately. I don't want to send a spinning if I don't have to. I mean, I will. And we'll work it out. But uh, this is not the kind of thing that you just, you know, Right away. What is it you need, Marcellus? Uh, a friend. 